again my name is Madan in this demo we are going to add font awesome icon in our project so let's head over to the font awesome website font awesome and then let's click on the link and uh, let's click on the get started link so that it will tell how we can start going and so here is the font awesome free CDN link which we can attach to our website so let's copy on this and then head over to our project and let's go to our layout.cshtml file layout.cshtml file so those are the javascript files so let's add those files at the bottom of our end inject since we don't want to put that uh, those two links inside our inject js section because when we inject those files from our golf task then if we put those two link inside this then they will get replaced so we want to put those them outside of the inject js section and uh, this is all we need to uh, do to start using the font awesome so we are going to use font awesome icon in couple of places in our application we are going to place icon here icon here and in other place so let's get started so let's find the suitable icon for us So I'm going to search for the binoculars, binoculars, and uh, let's copy the. Here is the class we want to use. So let's copy the code here and uh, and then let's head over back to our project and let's put that icon here in front of my watch list text and let's save and head over back to the project and now here is our new font or some icon in place i want to add icon to this button as well so let's head over to our view that has our button and here is the button i want to add icon here i class equal to fas f I want to use the plus icon here and let's remove this it to watch list text let's refresh the project and here is our plus icon in place and our watch list button here is a uh, attached to the title of our website so let's move this down a little bit so let's if I click on inspect here and uh, I see there we can see the styling for our body so if we increase the padding top value from here then our button moves down so let's put it 60 actually we need to put that inside our css file so let's head over to our css and let's make this value from 50 to 60 let's save it and then hit refresh and now our button has been moved down and it is looking nice now another Place where we want to add icons is that in the edit and delete button so let's head over to the project and the view containing those buttons those are in my page.cshtml we also want to add icon here add new page so let's add the same icon here icon plus i class equal to fs fs plus and we want to add another icon here so let's copy this code from here copy and let's put another icon here in front of the edit and let's give it edit and let's try if the icon that has a name edit exists or not yes and we have successfully added icon edit icon here and let's add another icon for the delete as well so in front of the delete text let's paste it and trash alt this might work let's try and save and we have successfully added font awesome icon in our project so this is the end of the demo and we'll continue adding new features and improving our project in another video series Thanks for watching. Have a good day.